Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to use logical operator in Linux command line. Using this video, you can automate your daily PV operations. As a system administrator, we should know function of and or operators. Using this, you can reduce a lot of daily PV efforts. I am sure this video will really help you to automate your daily PV operations. Let's continue the technical discussion. In Linux operating system, there are two types of logical operators are available. So these are the basic logical operators. So one is AND operator, another one is OR operator. So basically AND operator, we can denote using double ambersion and OR operator, basically we can denote with double byte symbol. First, we'll discuss about logical AND operator. This is basically will work based on the written code. For example, if you have a command, execution return code is zero which means success if the return code is basically denoted by dollar question mark if the return code is zero the logical operator will start function if the return code is non-zero then our operator will come into the picture for example i will try to create a directory called new underscore der then i'll make a condition using logical operator and then try to do cd new der basically what it will do if the command card executed successfully, then only we can be able to do the cd to the directory. So, which means based on the first command return code zero value, then the second code will work. Let's enter it and we can see now we have the first code command has executed successfully and then only we are able to switch into this directory. Basically, this is working based on the, the previous command return code zero. Next, we are going to discuss about our logical operator based on the previous command execute and return code. If the return code is non-zero, basically equal to non-zero value, then only R condition will work, the logical R will work. For example, for example, I'm trying to get the server.txt file. You see here, I know this file is, does not exist, but we can see the error code, non-return zero. So if you get like this non-return zero value, then only, this operator will come into the picture. For example, grab text file.txt, then our operator, then you can print a message like text not found. So here you can see, I know this file does not exist, but I can tell you here. So due to which, based on the previous comma return code, non return code zero value, I'm getting the result equal to not found. Next, we are going to combine both and and our operators. For that, we can use, for example, systemctl. If I want to check a service called NFS service, then I need to execute this in the quiet mode. Then if it is running, then we can see echo NFS service is running. Or we can print a message like NFS is not running. So here we can see here, I know this NFS service is already running. So I'm executing here based on this command return code value. I'm printing the message like NFS is running. If not running, then it will print a message like not running. Next, we are going to use three operators. For this, we can use systemctl, is iPhone active and my service name. Then I'm executing this on quiet mode. Okay. I'm making condition like our operator, making open condition echo NFS is not running. If it is any error. I'm just making that then making and condition echo starting in d and close this and make a one more and condition we can make a command system ctl start in a service and close the bracket here you can see here so i'm checking this service in quiet mode it is gives any error message i'm printing the message like it's not running then i'm making a if this is printed from this return code value i'm taking as input for the this operator and operator then i'm printing the message also uh, from this based on this i am printing the i'm starting this service in a server now we can see i executed here the service is already running if it is not running only it will start for example we can stop this service system serial stop in a first server now we can execute this and you can see here the service has been started that we can validate use using this command so using this, you can automate your daily BU operation. 
through shell script or command line operation. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Support and subscribe my channel.